In this video I will uh, just show a few new things that I've been working on. Um, I also wanted to make this video because I haven't really made a video for a while. Uh, I've had um, a few problems in uh, <laughs> here in this project and I wanted to sort, uh, sort them out and make sure the game uh, functions properly before I did anything. So, um, so I've got everything working nicely and uh, um, game's running really well, I've been able to optimize a bunch of things, I've, this is actually currently running in uh, 1080p, 60 frames per second on a GeForce 680, uh, which I think is pretty uh, pretty decent. Uh, and it's full dynamic lighting, I've uh, originally I made the game with um, light maps, uh, baked lighting and all that, but I've switched over to full dynamic lighting, uh, gives much much uh, quicker uh, level iteration times, um, you know, it takes it from an hour build to like a two second build <laughs> or a five second build. So, uh, it runs essentially, uh, it's not, not, not really impacting it too badly. Um, uh, so anyway, uh, so some of the new stuff, um, so I've got these, uh, kind of breakable items that I want to use to keep, to hold in, uh, um, you know, maybe some pickups, and uh, that's kind of a typical game thing. You go through and you break some stuff, and you get some uh, reward for it, possibly. Uh, and there's two ways to break them. As you saw, I just uh, uh, hit them and broke them, and you can also jump on them and break them. Um, to very uh, just the beginnings of that system. So currently, I don't have actually items that will spawn in, but uh, just to be able to break them, and then also. Um, I've been doing my uh, enemy spawning system, so the idea is that the game is pretty dynamic in how it works. Um, so I've essentially got a trigger that says now you can spawn and you can spawn these guys and you can spawn this many of them. And um, so I can have uh, currently in this area I can spawn nine uh, mummies and uh, it'll essentially keep them coming as, as I kill them so uh, so I've killed those guys and now some new guys will come in um, uh, the way they spawn in is uh, direction based so uh, so now I'm uh, running to the left so now those guys are coming in from the left and uh, if I'm uh, otherwise they'll come in from the right so for them to spawn in from the left I have to be running left and, and about just about all other cases they'll come in from the right because that is the uh, general progression of, of the game so um, unless you get close to a gate uh, then they'll always come in from the left because they don't want guys spawning in at the back of the gate and so there are some checks in place that will tell the spawning system uh, don't spawn on the right when this is true or false or don't spawn on the left when this is true or false and you know just do it like that um, and then I've also um, decided to this is something I've had in mind for a very long time um, but I kind of just decided to do it now and get it done is um, uh, an upgraded sword so uh, whether you would have uh, seen it or not I just I uh, used a cheat to kind of change my sword so it looks uh, not all that different uh, when it's sitting there in the scabbard uh, uh, but as soon as I pull it out um, I've got this much bigger sword now and simply visually it's bigger so it tells you that it's stronger and it is essentially twice as uh, strong as the original sword and um, and you can pretty much uh, slice these guys up no problem with it uh, you don't even have to do a special move uh, to slice them in half and of course the trade-off there is that um, these guys will never give you health back uh, they will because when you slice these guys in half, uh, they won't spawn any health. You can all only uh, spawn health when you kill them without slicing them in half, and that, that's kind of the game mechanic for that. Um, and get through the gate. 
and uh, so now so now these guys um, uh, I can uh, these guys uh, won't uh, get sliced in half just by um, uh, cutting them like that I have to do a special move uh, to actually get them uh, you know to uh, gather their souls um, but yeah I mean as far as the the new uh, weapon uh, you know with animation with regards to animation and all that uh, currently I don't plan to do any new animations for it um, it's just a lot of work to uh, do that um, if uh, depending on how things work out I, I, I you know I, I might consider something like that down the road but uh, currently I don't really plan to do any new animations for the for the new sword it, essentially it's just a, um, uh, a a visual way to show that you have a stronger uh, sword and uh, so essentially it, it gives you just um, double damage and as soon as you uh, get a full sword upgrade which I'm just gonna cheat right now so now I've done a, a full sword upgrade uh, so now also uh, you see there's a bunch of new uh, special effects on on the characters as you as you hit them uh, uh, meaning also that when the sword is uh, fully charged it's also str uh, stronger um, so essentially double damage again so on the original sword you get double damage on the charge uh, picking up the stronger sword gives you uh, double damage uh, compared to the original sword and so charging up the new uh, stronger sword essentially gives you quad damage um, so you can dispatch these guys quite easily uh, of course uh, as the game gets harder uh, you'll uh, uh, learn to like this uh, much uh, stronger sword. Um, so, yeah, that's kind of the stuff that I wanted to show. Um, and uh, you know, just to just to kind of uh, make a new video, show some new stuff. Um, I, I'm I'm still uh, making this game quite hard at work making this game. Uh, I haven't made a video for a while, but I am still quite hard at work making this game. Um, so just to show something new and uh, yeah so cool thanks for watching